It's in the topic of gun control, and you will get a rush of opinions anywhere in the country. Here in East Tennessee, one restaurant owner is making her opinion on that issue very clear. She posted a sign saying, guns are welcome, on the doors at Shiloh Brew and Chew. It's a family establishment in Maryville. WBIR 10 News reporter Ashley Isbicki talked to the restaurant owner about her bold statement and what customers have to say about it. Brew and Chew was my first marketing mistake. A lot of people think we're a bar. And or a tobacco store. But brew is for coffee and chew is for food. We cut our own steaks, we patty our own burgers. Sharma Floyd opened Shiloh in Maryville almost two years ago. But it wasn't until last month she decided to post this sign. I read an article where a store over in North Carolina had put up a sign that said no weapons allowed and they were robbed at gunpoint two days later. That story got her thinking. So she made a bold and clear statement. Guns are welcome. Oh, and the reaction was immediate, immediate. Oh, I can honestly say I've gotten way more support than the one person who really, really gave me a lot of grief over it. That customer told her he wouldn't come back. But since then, the signs have helped boost her business. I've probably gained 20 new customers who come to the door, take pictures of it, ask to meet me in person, and thank me. Everyone needs to take a stand for what they believe is right. It's not guns that kill people, it's people that kill people. Regular customers in the restaurant today voiced their support, along with this table visiting from Cleveland, Ohio. Perfect uh, <laughs> expectation, I guess, of coming for, come to the South. I probably wouldn't go into a restaurant in Cleveland that had that on the door, but I have no problem going into a restaurant down here with that on the door. Floyd doesn't sell liquor, and she says she asks customers who order a beer if they are carrying a weapon. If they say, yes, I have an ankle strap, I'm saying, sorry, you can't drink. Her right to refuse and her right to welcome guns into her East Tennessee family restaurant. As the owner, I wanted to stand my ground. I have that constitutional right. If you like it, that's great. If you don't, I'm sorry for you. I can't change who I am. Again, that was Ashley as Vicki reporting. We asked for your thoughts about that sign, and we saw lots of response on Facebook and Twitter so far. We've seen more than 500 comments on Facebook. A number of viewers also pointing out similar signs at a few other East Tennessee restaurants. Right now, the majority of the posts appear to be in support of the sign, but there are passionate arguments being made on both sides.